Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a Will I Buy It? Where I'm going to be sharing all of my thoughts on these new and upcoming makeup releases and letting you know what I'm interested in buying, what I'm interested in picking up and what I am passing on and why. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with this massive collection from Chanel. It's all I've heard about, it's all I've seen. It's been flooding my feed everybody is obsessed with it everybody is falling over themselves to try and grab these before they sell out <laughs> except for me so it seems I it's not to say that I don't get it I don't want to say I don't get it because I do I feel like when it comes to Chanel like you're either like a Chanel die hard, ride or die, like I want everything from the brand regardless, or you're not, and I'm not. It's not that I don't like Chanel, I think they have great products, I love their blushes, I like almost all of, or love almost all of their lip products, not a huge fan of their eyeshadow formulas, complexion products I've always got on well with, bronzers, foundations, great foundations, but I've never found myself like turning into one of these people who just wants everything Chanel and loves everything Chanel. I've just kind of always like it, you know, I like some of it, but I've just never turned into like a Chanel stan for some reason. I couldn't tell you why. These just don't appeal to me. Let's start off with this little brush set and like the little zip up pencil case looking thing. I just, I just don't love any of the colours. I think that's what it is. I think if there was a colour here that really spoke to me, then perhaps I would have picked one of these up. I just can't really see me using the brushes. Like I have amazing travel brush sets from Sonia G and I don't feel like I need any more and I don't, I just can't see myself like packing this and it just, it feels unnecessary to me the way I do makeup, the way I travel with makeup. I can't see me using it. I don't love any of the colours. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. The compact mirror, I, I don't use these. I don't know if that's just me. I don't carry any makeup in my handbag day to day other than whatever lipstick, whatever lip product I've got on on that day. I never do touch ups. I never take like a powder with me. I never do anything on the day other than like touching up a lipstick potentially. But yeah, so I just won't use this. And again, if I just wanted it because it says Chanel and it's a beautiful compact, I don't love any of the colours. Again, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. This whole collection was a very easy pass. I almost found myself like trying to talk myself into it because I feel like I'm missing something because everybody else is so in love with it and so excited about it. I was like, I'm missing something. I'm going to get FOMO. I'm going to regret not picking these up, but I don't think I will. I just don't think it's for me. I'm passing on this entire collection. <laughs> what am I missing? Is it just me? Am I the only one who doesn't get it? Okay, so next up, Kia Vice came out with four shades of cream bronzer. I mean, they are like the brand when it comes to cream products. I've tried their cream blushes. I think that's the only product I've ever tried from the brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I really like their cream blushes. They're beautiful colors, really lovely finish, really easy to work with. I like how everything is refillable as well. And these will also be, so this is described as an effortless sunkist glow, bronzer that looks and feels like you, ultra creamy, buildable, hydrating, blends effortlessly. It all sounds great. I would definitely be down for trying these. I think they look a little small, if they're the same size as the blushes, they look it. They look the same size as the blush, which would make them very small for cream bronzer. I can't see the fill size anywhere. I can't see it. Shades, they look good. They look like nice undertones, nothing too like orangey or warm. These look lovely. I would absolutely pick one of these up. Oh, I'm seeing a, oh, what's happening? I'm seeing a video. Yeah, they look quite small, don't they? They do look small. Like they are the same size as the blushes. I don't know why I'm talking to you like you can see the video, but you just have to take my word for it. They appear to be the same size as the blushes, which makes them a little small, small for a cream bronzer. But that aside, I'm into it. I wish the brand was easier to get here. I think our only way is to get it from Beautylish, but they look delightful and I love the packaging. Definitely down to try that one, especially as I've been very good at trying cream products lately. If you have noticed, pat me on the back. 
Okay, this Dior autumn slash fall makeup collection. I don't know if this is going to be the whole thing. This is all we can see. Emit Beauty Talk shout out. I saw this post on her Instagram with all of the tea. <laughs> Other than the nail varnishes, I want all of this as mm, the deeper eyeshadow quint. I feel like that's gorgeous. <laughs> like literally autumn in a quint. Quint, quint, quint. I love to say quint. But anyway, the blush, get out of town. That looks stunning. It looks absolutely stunning. It's glorious. It's right up my street. Is it like a blush we've never seen before in our lives? No, sure. I mean, none of this is, let's be honest. The eyeshadow palettes are very like, very neutral. It's fine. We've all seen them before. I have really neglected Dior when it comes to eyeshadows because I just kind of decided they weren't for me. But I would definitely pick up the deeper shade Quint and that blush. It's got my name written all over it. This looks very, very autumn appropriate. It's speaking to me. I love it. That's a yes from me if you hadn't noticed. Okay, next up, this always on skin balancing foundation from Smashbox. I'm very confused by this, I'll say that. These swatches and the shade range, it's very confusing to me. I feel like there are very many shades that look the same. That entire fair arm, they're very, very close and they all look quite yellow. I will say that. And also we're going all over the place with the depth. You know, you'd expect the first shade to be like the lightest, but it almost looks like the ones in the middle are lighter than the others. And then the whole light arm, again, very, very close together with the with the shades. And again, a, a lot of really warm shades between the light and the medium arm. Almost the entire tan arm is almost, it basically looks like two shades actually, but they said it's five. and you know, there's, I mean, uh, yeah. So in theory, there's a good number of shades, but I don't know that we've got the shade range right there. I feel like there's a lot of very close similar shades and not a lot else. And everything is looking pretty warm through my eyeballs. So there's that. Now it claims to be a long wearing foundation with skin balancing oil control and hydration that supports skin instantly over time, buildable coverage, 16 hour true color wear, medium to full coverage, natural looking finish. It's got a lot of great claims, quite a high price point I noticed for Smashbox. Not a brand I'm very familiar with. This would definitely be a wait for review for me because I wouldn't even know where to start with the shades. I'm highly confused. And I Smashbox is not a brand that I'm like secure. Like I, I don't feel like I know that's gonna be a banger. I'm, I'm highly suspicious, okay? I don't know what's happening. So I'm on the fence. Do you guys want a review of this or are you not interested? Let me know. You guys are the bosses ultimately up in here of what I do. You want a review? I'll give it to you. That's just the kind of girl I am. But I'm personally for myself, not really that excited about it. I'm just like, oh sure. It's a foundation. I don't know if it's exciting me, but you know, you gotta give the people what they want. So you tell me, what do you want? Next up, let's talk about Isamea Beauty's newest launch. There is an eyeshadow palette, her second, I believe, eyeshadow palette. And then there are two shades of Maximizing Lip Serum. The lip serums are not for me. They're very, very glittery, very, very sparkly. They look delightful on these luscious lipsies. But yeah, that's not, is it? Wait, are there three shades? Or was one shade already existing? I think that's what's happening. Two new shades, I think is what's going on. Yeah, they're not for me. I don't need those. They look very, very glittery and I can almost feel the grittiness just by looking at it. So that's not for me. I won't, I won't use them. You know what I'm saying. Now, looking at this eyeshadow palette, I don't know what to do with it. I've no idea. I feel like this is just too creative for me. I am boring. I, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I need eyeshadow palettes to literally tell me what to do. I need it to be very obvious, the color combinations. I need help, I need guidance. And I look at this and it's, I don't know what to do with this. I feel like, where's the mattes? That's number one. Where's my transitional shades? I don't know what to do with all of these different colors. I feel like this is far too creative and exciting and colorful and artistic for me, <laughs> okay? I just don't have those skills. I don't have the skills, I don't have the creative mind 
to know what to do with this. I'm baffled. So this colour story is, it's just confusing. <laughs> the eyeshadow looks, looks stunning on these models. Whoever did these, clearly much more clever than me, clearly much more creative and artistic than I am. And I think they look stunning, very mermaid vibes. Very, very stunning aerial mermaid vibes is what I'm getting. But that is not really the, like the vibe that I'm rocking and I just don't know what to do with it. I need like six transition shades and mattes in order to know what I'm doing with the palette. I feel like this is for me like five color stories in one and I just, it's overwhelming and it's not for me is what I'm saying. I'm not that clever. Let's talk about these Laura Mercier liquid highlighters. <laughs> Call the police, there's been a robbery. Oh, what? Does Charlotte know about this? Are the girls fighting? What is happening here? Now, there's always been like copycatting in the makeup world. You know, Makeup Revolution have literally created an entire brand off of stealing other people's ideas. I've never seen Laura Mercier do this before. I'm shocked. I'm shook to my core. This is an absolute carbon copy of Charlotte Tilbury's Beauty Light ones. Like the sponge, the I just, oh, it's a little uncomfy, a little uncomfy this. I just didn't, I didn't see this coming from Laura. I didn't know she rolled that way. So I don't like, I hate it when brands do this. I feel like Laura Mercier is such a great brand. They have amazing blushes. Like you don't need to be doing that. Mmm, I don't like it. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. I feel like Laura Mercier are a great brand. They have great products and they definitely could have done their own thing, come up with their own innovation here. You know, I feel like you could have done that. I don't know that this is a good idea, but we've done it. I'm not going to be picking these up because I already have all of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light ones and I don't love what we're doing here. What are we doing? So this is a pass for me. I already have this, just with someone else's name on it, you know? Next up, let's talk about Vive. Vive is Jamie Genevieve's brand, highly successful, very much underrated. I myself have only tried a few products from the brand. I always want to try more. I've always kind of feel like I've, I'm, I'm missing out on them. I, I get a lot of comments from you guys saying, oh, you need to try more Vive, you need to try their concealer. I need to try their like liquid highlighter. What else have I not tried from them yet? Their eyeshadows, I need to try more, my bad. But they have come out with cream bronzers. So we have, what do we have? We have four shades of their Modern Romance Cream Bronzer. It claims to be a lightweight, seamlessly buildable cream bronzer enriched with skin loving ingredients, which add a natural looking sun -clist sun -clist, clist, kissed, sun kissed, warmth to the complexion. I like that sort of travel friendly little pop there. I'm not sure about the shades. I feel like the medium shade is very warm and then the tan shade is going to be too deep for me. So that's why I'm kind of like, mm, up until this point, I've kind of not jumped over the fence into purchase town because I'm not sure which shade I would be. I feel like I'm, I want a mixture. I want to mix medium and tan together. And yeah, that's not an option, <laughs> funnily enough. But I think it looks super pretty. I especially like the shade tan. I think that's got a gorgeous undertone. I just think it's gonna be too deep for my skin tone, but looks beautiful. And previously I've heard great things about the brand. So I think this is like a wait for review. Maybe I'll be wrong about the shades. I don't know. I just feel like there isn't a perfect shade undertone for what I like with my cream bronzers. So I've skipped on it for now, but I might come back to it later. We'll have to see once the swatches start rolling around. Next, let's talk about these Stila liquid eyeshadows. These are suede liquid eyeshadows. So they are actually a matte version of their very, very famous liquid like eyeshadow, the glitter ones. These are a matte version available in six shades. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting bad vibes. I'm getting bad, bad vibes from this. One, I'm having flashbacks from the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Eyes to Mesmerize. These, I mean, the swatches, I don't know who like took these photos, these swatches and thought, yeah, they look, we've, we've smashed it guys. It, they look amazing. Mm, they, they look patchy, uneven. 
they don't look very pigmented. I'm not even sure what you are going for with the color choices here. Like the shades, I'm very, I'm confused. That's confusing. I don't know what we're doing. We don't seem to have been going for like a range of like sort of eyeshadow, like primer, like base colors because there's no real skin tones here. We almost have gone for like a bit of a foresty theme, if anything, which is an interesting choice in the summer, but okay. Um, I just feel like uh, the pictures on the models, it's very much giving Charlotte Tilbury matte eyes to mesmerize, but even worse. Like they look so thick and heavy. It really looks like they're sort of overwhelming the eye because they look, they look like dry, heavy, thick, cakey, I just, that is, those pictures are not, I don't know about you, but they aren't selling it to me. They're like telling me to steer well clear. <laughs> this is very much a pass. I don't think these are gonna be good. I'll happily eat my words if it turns out that these photos were just not really doing the product justice. I'll apologize. I'll make a whole apology video if they turn out to be like the best liquid eyeshadows we've ever seen. But I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna have to. I think, I think I'm in the clear. This is a pass. It's a pass wide and clear with a barge pole. No, thank you. I'm not going there again. Next up, let's talk about this new Keys Soul Care two-in-one concealer and tint. This is really intriguing to me. Okay, this is intriguing. So this is a skin-like finish, naturally radiant skin tint that can be used all over or as a spot concealer, buildable light to medium coverage, 2% niacinamide, squalane, blend, blah, 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 an extension of their Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum, which I love. I love the serum. It's really beautiful. This has 40 shades, 28 pounds. You can see the shades there. Lots of lovely undertones, options, etc. And I'm really in the market for like an all over, very sheer skin perfecting type product at the moment. That's what I'm, I really like. At the moment, I use my Chanel Water Fresh tint for that. I'd almost like something that's just sheer to use in that way that's like a bit of a sort of priming skin perfecting product for summer that I just can use on no makeup makeup days just to perfect you know just to cheat a little bit and I was thinking oh maybe this is it obviously it does have color but very minimal it seems like a light you know medium I can make it work that's how I'd want to use this this isn't going to be something I would use as a concealer I don't think because I need a full coverage concealer okay I want a full coverage concealer that's just how I roll that's just my jam you know, that's my cup of tea. So I like a sort of light, medium, naturally radiant concealer. It's just not, it's not floating my boat. It's not my type of concealer. I typically want a natural matte, soft matte finish, full on coverage. That's how I roll when it comes to concealer. So this for me would be used as a skin tint. And then I feel like I'm just gonna use this up in about a week because it's smaller, you know, it's actually kind of like an extra little bit of spot concealing, touching up type of product. I feel like I'm gonna slather this all over my face and it will be gone in a matter of days. So that's my only concern. Again, a brand that's not that easy to get here. So I don't know, I'm on the fence. Again, tell me guys, should I be getting this? I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I kind of want to, I'm kind of intrigued. Keys is one that is tricky to get here in the UK. It's in theory, it was available on Cult Beauty, but they don't seem to have restocked anything. And then it's kind of available on Harrods, but again, they don't have like half of the products. So mm, I don't think I'm gonna go out and buy this from the US website and pay a fortune to get it here. If it comes here quickly, you better hurry up, then I'll buy it. If I'm waiting for months and it, or it never arrives here in the UK, I won't. We'll just let fate decide, okay? That's what we'll do. We'll go with whatever the fates allow. You know, make it easy, bring it here. Sure, I'll buy it. If you make me shop from America, I'm not. That's how petty I am. And lastly, but by no means leastly, or is it? Maybe it is, you decide. This is the, why did I shout? I don't know, I'm sorry. This is the Paco Rabanne New Beauty line. Paco Rabanne are coming into the beauty space with this brand, where which they are calling just Rabanne. We don't know what happened to Paco, but we wish him well. This is just going to be called Rabanne. And I know that there's going to be people trying to tell me that that is one person that I'm... 
So just for the record, I, I know. It, that was a joke, I'm sorry. Apparently the brand is merging fashion and beauty under one unified vision. That's what they tell me. This is a little bit muddled of a like initial collection offering. Is that just me? I don't know. It appears to be a glitter spray, which, you know, very much screams Claire's accessories to me. And then we've got a foundation, what looks like a sort of tinted moisturiser style foundation. We've then got some eyeshadow products, what looks like maybe like, are those like glosses in the little duo? And then we've got some quads. That colour story there is, is giving me nothing. It's giving me nothing. We then got a mascara and a lipstick. I'm assuming there's going to be like a whole range of shades and not just that one. So it's a little bit of a strange initial, like typically brands will come out with, you know, they'll they'll lead with like an eyeshadow collection. Like here's, you know, four eyeshadow palettes or they'll come out with their complexion products first. Here's my foundation and a primer. They've kind of done a bit of everything at once, but then they haven't done any cheek products. We've just like, we, it's like we've gone a bit of complexion, a bit of eye, a mascara and something. I, I, so it's it's a lot initially. We, we've delved into a lot of categories at once, and I feel like that may be a mistake. I just I wonder if it's a little rushed because typically brands will take like years to formulate, you know, their eyeshadows, and then they'll take years focusing on this. I feel like if we've done all of this in a one, is that a good idea? That's my I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a great idea. Maybe we should all be doing that. But I, I, I'm i nervous, is what I'm saying. I feel like it feels to me like, oh, we've rushed and we've put out all of this stuff in a one -er. Have we taken the time to really perfect these formulas? That's my question. It's, it's just a question. Maybe the answer is yes. Great. But I'm, I'm slightly confused as to what the brand, where we're going. Are we going down a sort of creative colour route? Are we going down like a natural makeup? Are we going down like a Claire's accessories vibe with the glitter spray? I'm I'm confused. This doesn't tell me what the brand, where, where we're going with the brand. I don't know, looking at this picture, what the brand is gonna be like, what vibes they're giving me. The packaging isn't really saying luxury. I I, I feel confused by it. That's what I'm saying. I feel confused by it. I feel like it's it's very much giving me like Valentino, Carolina, Herrera, that type of makeup brand, as opposed to like a Gucci brand. <laughs> do you know what I'm on about? Because I'm not sure that I do. What I'm saying is this picture is not screaming, wow, amazing, pull me in, I want it all. It's saying uh, confused, slightly muddled, not grabbing me, concerned about whether this is just like a cash grab, let's jump into the beauty space. That's what it's, it's giving me. I'm so sorry about it. I can't tell you what's wrong with me. I don't know. No one's been able to figure it out yet. I'm not, it's not tickling my pickle, it's just not, it's not. I'm hoping that when the release actually comes, I feel like from this information on Trend Mood, they're suggesting that there's like a whole ton of eyeshadow quads coming out in one go by the sounds of it. I think she's saying there are 29 varieties. Is that right? Is that what that's saying? That's what it looks like it's saying to me. So maybe there'll be other palettes that will be really grabbing me, in which case I will try them. Maybe I'll try the mascara and the foundation to let you guys know. We haven't seen the shade range. There's really no information about that yet. So I, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm waiting. I need more information at the moment. It's just, it's not really grabbing me. It's kind of putting me off a little bit. Just this initial photo. But you know, maybe it's it's all up from here. Okay, and there you have it. That is all of the new and upcoming makeup releases that I have to share with you today. Please let me know what your thoughts are on these new makeup releases. Are you excited? Are you not? Are you repulsed? Let's hope not. Please let me know all of your thoughts on these collections in the comment section down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.